Hey guys, uh, it's me again, Camille Sec. <clears throat> Today we're going to be going, or we're going to be looking at the difference between the HTTP and HTTPS. Why is the HTTP protocol not secure or considered not secure and HTTPS secure? We're also going to be using the Wireshack protocol analyzer to demonstrate the difference between these two protocols in terms of security. Wireshark is a de facto standard across network and system administrations. Wireshark has the ability to listen and record network traffic. So let's get into it. We're going to be looking at the difference between these two protocols. All right. So I have my uh, my Linux um, I have my Kali Linux terminal open already. So First of all, I'm going to look at the interface that I'm going to be operating on. So I'm going to look at my, I'm going to do IF config and look at the interface. My interface that I'm going to be working on today will be the 10.0.2.30, which is going to be my IP address and it's going to be on if zero. The interface is going to be if zero. All right. And I'm also going to confirm what interface I'm on in terms of my Metasploitable. I'm going to be using the Metasploitable to start my vulnerable web application. I'm going to do IF config, and you can see right off the back that it's also on what 10.0.2.29. So they're on the same interface. And I can prove that by pinging the Kali Linux machine, which is on 10.0.2.30. See, I can get to my Kali Linux machine. All right, good. So I'm gonna go back to my Linux, my uh, Kali Linux machine. First of all, let's clear the screen. Let me try to see if I can talk to my Metasploitable 2 uh, machine. This is a vulnerable version of a Linux machine for learning how to do penetration testing and ethical hacking. So I'm gonna ping my Metasploitable 2 to make sure that I can listen to that. And that is gonna be on 10.0.2.29. And there you see, I can get to that machine. All right, so we're good. So first of all, I'm gonna start up my uh, my my browser, and I'm gonna to navigate to the IP address for my uh, uh, vulnerable machine, so I can get up, I can get onto the vulnerable application that I want to use to demonstrate these protocols. So my Metasploitable machine again, the IP address is 10.0. That two, that two, that twenty nine. All right, so I can get to my multisploitable two vulnerable uh, uh, machine, and I'm going to be using the DVWA, Down Vulnerable Web Application, but I call it the Vulnerable Web Application. All right, so we have the Vulnerable Web Application interface open, and again, you see it is not secure. It has a red sign telling you that this connection is not secure meaning it is not on a, it is not on the protocol that is secure. It is not on the TLS or SSL protocol, what have you. It is not secure. It is just a plain HTTP protocol. That's port 80. All right. So in order for me to start capturing, I'm going to open up my Wireshack. So I'm going to go back to my terminal real quick. And then I'm going to stop my terminal, uh, my Wireshack on the back, at the background. How do you do that? You type in Wireshark, and then you do the ampersand, and then you enter. This is going to start up your Wireshark on the background. And I'm going to go, and again, I'm on the if zero, right? So I want to be on the same interface so I can capture the traffic between the down vulnerable, or uh, I mean between my Metasploitable 2 and the down vulnerable web application and my Kali Linux. If I'm not on the same interface, I will not be able to sniff the traffic. It's very, very important to look at the interface that you are on. So I know I'm on the, that interface. So I'm going to start up my um, my capturing. All right. So the capturing has started. So I'm going to go back into my vulnerable application. And I'm going to use the username and the password and see what happens. So I'm going to use the username, I mean, which is what admin. And then the password, I'm going to enter my password and enter. Right? All right, so now let's quickly go back into our capturing. So we have enough captured traffic. We're going to stop it. And now let's do the analysis, right? So this is Wireshark. This is how you capture traffic between, you know, on your network. 
traffic flow on your network. All right. So right off the bat, you see that I have, um, you know, some traffic coming in from my Metasploitable to my uh, Kali machine. I have my Syn, Syn Act, that is the Figure Handshake established. And also uh, I have my protocols, the HTTP, the TCP, you know, all of this traffic, you know, is being captured on my Wireshack. All right, but today's lesson is not for us to go over the Wireshack. We just want to go straight and see if we will be able to see the credentials, the authenticator, and the identifier that we enter, the username and the password. All right, so we're going to follow, we're going to go to the HTTP where it says the get, because this is what is a get request and a get request is you trying to access a website and put in your what your um your username and the password so the username and the password would be at, would be at the what the post request the get request is you accessing the url and then the post request will be you entering uh your authenticators the uh, username and the password in a form so let's try to follow that tcp that that stream and see if we'll be able to see the authenticators that were used to authenticate into this cell, uh, into this web application. So how do you do that? You right click on that, you highlight, you first highlight the, the post, you right click on that, and then you go down to where it says follow. So we're gonna follow the TCP, you can follow the HTTP stream on the TCP stream, but let's follow the TCP stream. And now we're gonna see everything is gonna be in the what, in a clear test. And right off the back, you can see the password and the username that was used so the username here was the admin that I typed in, and my password equals what? Password, right there. So that is how easy it is to capture the authenticators and the identifier on a, you know, uh, on a, on a web application that is not secure. That is the HTTP without the S, right? So you see how vulnerable it is. We can capture those authentication right there with our Wireshark analyzer. All right, good enough. So now we see how vulnerable this uh, 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 HTTP is without encryption. I'm gonna stop this and continue with that, uh, um, with our saving. Let me clear this filter. And I'm gonna go back into my web, uh, uh, into my browser. And now I'm gonna go into, say Gmail. Let's try to get into Gmail account. Uh, right, so we're gonna go into Gmail. And then let's, let's try to log into uh, any of uh, my um, username, and then we're gonna enter the password. All right, so we're logging with the password into this Gmail account. So let's see how we're gonna analyze this and see if Gmail is vulnerable. So we're gonna stop this. So right off the back, you can see that we have. Um, We've captured some traffic that are actually, you know, seeing that the protocol that is being used. So we can see right on the back that we have some TLS version 1.3, which is being used to encrypt our traffic at the application layer, right? So if we try to follow the TCP stream and any of this TCP, you know, or any of this uh, uh, protocol layer or the application layer, we will not be able to read anything. Everything will be gibberish. Everything will be encrypted. So let's do that. Follow the TCP string. Right there, you see there is nothing that will be meaningful to us because this is encrypted. There's nothing that is going to be able to, you know, make meaning of. Nothing is going to be meaningful to us. If we are sniffing this, uh, sniffing this traffic on this encrypted channel. So there you have it. If you are not using HTTPS, you know your traffic can be sniffed and can be analyzed and get all your protocols easily. That is how easy it is. All right. All right. So, and again, if you want, we can also go back here. If this drive, if these uh, IP addresses are not, you know, uh, that's something that you can keep track of. So how do you do that? We're gonna go into the edit, and we're gonna to go to the preference, and then we're gonna to go to um, name resolution, and then we're gonna to go to resolve network IP address, and then we click OK. So see right off the back, this is gonna be showing us uh, the name 
of what we have instead of the IP address. And again, because my Kali is just you know a box within my uh, NAT network. So but you see, this is showing you that this is from a Google Mail. Dot com. So the host name has been resolved. You don't want to be using that. You can go back in here and change it into your host name, just like we do we did here on the on the uh, 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 with the, with the Google Gmail. All right. So there you have it. HTTP is not secure. HTTPS is secure. So anytime you're logging out, you're logging onto a website that has a <coughs> That has HTTP without the S. Make sure you think twice before you log into your credentials. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a like and a thumbs up, and then subscribe for more videos. Thank you.